Welcome back everyone to the Hello World guys. This is episode number 18 of the first person shooter series and in this video what I want to do is I want to finish up uh, I want to basically you know get rid of a small bug which is rather annoying that we have got in our game. So let me just hit play right now and you can see our game looks absolutely beautiful due to the this effect here and uh, all of the other things. And you can see that if I go here and I press shoot oh by the way the, uh, this is still a bit too much you know the bloom effect but you can see that if I uh, go switch weapons and I go back to the first weapon it spawns the effect even if I do not shoot which is something that uh, I we don't actually want and and you might be uh, and of course uh, we are not sure why that happening first let me reduce the actual brightness of the broom effect because that's a bit too much really so just go under uh, VFX here and open up the muzzle flash uh, come on uh, by the way why is it like this come on uh, once it has opened up, uh, it takes a little bit of while. Uh, by the way, change this to normal. I don't know why I keep it at debug all the time. And you can see that this is what it looks like. And uh, in this, it's not apparent here, but in the scene view, it has a lot of. And when I say a lot, I mean a lot of uh, brightness. So I'm going to select the color here. Uh, and uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this color, which is at location 10%. Uh, oh. Alright, so it's at location 10% and I'm going to come on, change this color uh, intensity is currently set to 10 which is a lot and I'm going to change that to 3 and I'm going to do the same for this one. I'm going to change this to 3 as well and then I'm going to do the same for the last color, I'm going to change that to 3 and then for the very first color I'm going to change that to, well it's already a little bit less. So yeah, once once I have, we have done that, we are gonna just uh, well yeah let's let's actually try that out. So just go under game view and uh, hit play. And what you should see is that we don't get that uh, extremely bright effect for now this time hopefully because of the bloom. You know it sometimes it's a bit too much. Oh, it's oh, and you can see it is shining, but it is shining in a lot better way. And that's uh, that's that's pretty awesome. And yeah, that that's that's pretty good. Uh, and you can see that uh, yeah, that that looks awesome. But if I go to the second weapon, and then I go back to the first weapon, you can see that it kind of causes all of these effects to play out at once, which looks totally terrible. And if I shoot once or twice from this, you can see that two effects appear. And if I shoot more times, then what you should see is that eventually more effects appear from this so why is that actually happening and how are we supposed to fix that well first the reason that it is happening in the first place and the reason is pretty simple which it is that uh, well uh, let me just show you by experimentation because that's a better way to understand than just telling you so if i go ahead and hit play if and i open up my player and then go under main camera and then weapon and then open a pistol then open up a then I go under rifle and open up mm, that as well and if I shoot once and open up this muzzle flash point you can see that we have got one muzzle flash clone here uh, and then if I when I shoot again I get another one and then another one and then another one and so on and if I uh, go to the other gun and I shoot once here you can see I get one of these here now when I move back to the first one all of these muzzle flashes that are now activated are immediately played because the mm, v any uh, HDRP VFX is supposed to play as soon as it goes away which is the reason which is the very reason that this causes to this to happen uh, so each time we will switch the gun it will cause uh, all of the effects to play so how can we fix this well there are two ways that we can do it essentially uh, one is through if we can we can find some if we somehow manage to find a way to make the um, uh, you know make the actual gun appear only on spawn and not on every awake and it only plays on the spawn event or we can or a much better way in my opinion would be to just make sure that we destroy the uh, particle system after we are done playing it because of course we don't want to have a ton of particle systems in the background which are which really will create our extremely large scene and will cause uh, a lot of performance problems later when we uh, when we are actually having a bigger game so uh, in order to fix that uh, what uh, I'm going to do is I'm going to write a because it is it's not automatic like in the old particle system You will have to write your own script to actually make it work in HDRP But yeah, that is what uh, that is exactly what we are going to do 
well actually that is exactly what I have already done now all you need to actually do is you need to just go ahead and uh, get this uh, get inside of your like unity just create a new script called destroy vfx you can put it in whatever folder you like I have put it in this main script folder and uh, in this one what we have is we have a serialized field which is a private visual effect called effect and to do use this you need to be using unity engine.vfx and then you need to have a private bool here called has started playing now in the mm, update method what you need to check is whether the effect is null now uh, make sure that the effect is not null and if that is the case what you need to do is you need to check if uh, we have not started playing yet uh, and uh, because that that's a condition we uh, we must not have started playing yet and the effect dot alive particle count is greater than zero if that is the case then just set it to true now if that is not the case then if uh, we have actually started playing and you can see that uh, uh, our, our particle count is less than or equal to zero it cannot be less you can just change this to equal and that should be fine uh, so what we want to check is, uh, is whether the particles are now zero and then if that is the case we will destroy the game object so the basic idea this works is that we uh, in first of all because when the uh, it starts the when the system starts the effect, uh, the particles are obviously zero so we have a bool called has started playing by default which is false and let me just put that in here so that it's explicit and then uh, uh, if when the actual particle starts uh, count starts to increase so in here when we are not playing and uh, our count is going greater than zero we just set it to true because now we are playing and if we are playing and by the way you don't need an else here really uh, you can just add another if if we are playing and the particle count is equal to zero uh, then that means that we have got like literally uh, we all of the particles are ended so now we can just destroy that game object it's as simple as that and um, let me just go under unity and let it compile uh, it's taking a little bit of while and once it has compiled uh, let's just hit play and what you should see is something totally amazing and now that problem that caused you know the gun to appear uh, when the gun appears it caused it to display a lot of particle systems that should uh, disappear that effect should not no longer be here so let me show you you can see that this is working and if I go to the second one I can shoot using this and if I go back to the first or the second nothing happens and if I open up the hierarchy here you can see that when I shoot it spawns something and then it disappears when the particles are done uh, so yeah that that's pretty awesome and uh, yeah now we have got like a working uh, particle system for our game so that's pretty awesome and i will see you in the next video in which we will uh, add more stuff to our game so stay tuned for that and i will see you in the next one make sure to like and subscribe as well and uh, well bye